JB Tanam here. Welcome myself and back from after an eight month hiatus to bring you back more cool videos like you've never seen before. Like last week, you saw my interview, and the week before that, you saw Justin Bieber. But today, I'm gonna do what I haven't done for eight years. That's right, my famous rants. And today, one of these rants I'm going to do is based on a show from the 80s that got rebooted for 2000. I'm talking about My Little Pony Friendship is Magical. If you don't know, you haven't seen it before, take a look for yourselves. My Little Pony starts off with a girl named Twilight Sparkle. Oh, this is Twilight Sparkle. Who's on a mission for Princess Celestia to help her find the meaning of friendship. And all along the way, she goes into an adventure with the help of five ponies. The first one she meets is, um, I believe her name was Pinkie Pie? Yeah, I think you should lay off that for now. Okay, okay, whatever you say, just, just, just lay off. And the other one is Rainbow Dash. Oh, you saw the movie The Runaways? Maybe, maybe. The, the third one she met is Applejack. Oh, I like the cereal better than your name. <laughs> Whatever! Whatever! The next one is everyone that w every girl's dream, Rarity. Ooh, I like your ass. If I was a pony, if I was a pony. <laughs> and the last one is the most shyest of all. Fluttershy. Oh no, oh no, we're not going to take your picture. We just want to say hi to you. Because I'm going to tell everybody all about you guys. Even the show started on in 2010 on the show called, on the, <clears throat> on the channel called The Hub, which was formerly known as Discovery Kids. Then Hasbro took it all, took all, took it all over. The show has gotten very popular, but not by teens or kids, by adults. No, no, I'm serious, because adults watch your show. Maybe because there's three reasons your show has um that Genesis quality they're looking for. Number one, you mostly talk on talk on the fourth wall. Number two, you mostly um, have stupid side jokes. Yeah, you do. Don't lie. You do. Number three, mostly you don't end the moral to the end of the show. Oh, okay. Now, come on. People are, people are still in school watching this. I don't know, third, fourth, fifth graders. We'll think of something. And the final thing is, people just watched it because it's Hasbro. Come on, this is the same company that made Transformers, G.I. Joe, and pretty soon, if it gets a chance, Gemini Holograms. 
all right, all right, I'm just saying. It, it could happen. Maybe mine size will be the next gem. Or Selena Gomez. Who cares if she's white or not? It just makes money. Okay, here's my bottom line. The bottom line of my little point of friendship is mad because all six ponies represent what a woman wants. A woman wants to be f laughter. A woman wants to be smart. A woman wants to be agile. A woman wants to be rugged. A woman wants to show her feminine side and she wants to show her weak spots. Put those all together, you get my little pony friendship is mad. You see that? That represents what My Little Pony is all about. Women! And the reason guys watch this show so they can find out what women want. If a woman wants to be your friend, she's your friend. If a woman wants to eat sugar to go hyper, to print her men wants, let her be hyper. If a woman wants to be the fastest man alive, I say let her. If a woman wants, to, wants no help at all, don't give her help. And if she wants to be shy and left to be alone, leave her alone. And finding, if the woman wants someone, you to know if she's pretty, you have to say yes. Because you say there's if she's pretty, she's going to have two words, broken bones. And why are guys like us watching it? Is it the next SpongeBob? Or the next Family Guy? Or the next Phineas and Ferb? It must be. Because this show is, I don't know, phenomenal. What if they make a live action movie of this using real ponies with cryogenetic talking? What if Michael Bay directs? Okay, okay, or maybe I'll get someone else like um, Spielberg? Um, Sam Rami? Fine, Ron Howard. Okay, but you owe me. <laughs> so the bottom line is this My Little Pony got so popular that everybody's doing memes on it. From Smosh to four, four, four Share to anything with a pulse and a website. Once that got in, the word bronies and Pegasisters came in life. So My Little Pony is not just a fad, it's just a fad itself. And it's going to get bigger and bigger till it ends. Because My Little Pony has just finished two seasons. And they're working on the third season right now. So who knows what these girls are up to. By the way, girls, what are you up to anyway? Truer words are never spoken. Well, my bottom line is this, like I said before. My Little Pony, Friendship and Magic, all about the women. Six sides of them. Joyce, happiness, friendship, hard work, rebelliousness, rebellionism, and shyness. Here's my question to you guys. If you're a guy between my age, would you watch My Little Pony? And for all you guys out there, who is your favorite My Little Pony character? Will it be Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, or Fluttershy? Just leave your comment behind. Um, don't forget to favorite. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Just do what you gotta do, cause make this show come to life. Cause if I can be, if My Little Pony can be famous, so can I. Don't forget, people. 7 2012. A certain someone is coming. You know who he is. Here's a hint. His name starts with N. You'll see him then.
That's all I got now. So I'll see you now. I love you guys all. I'm glad you guys came back to appreciate me. I'm glad to be back on the internet again. And YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Google+. Plus, and pretty soon I'm going to be Tumblr. So I want each and every one of you guys to write to me. Give me ideas for the next show. Give me What do you want me to dance to? What do you want me to rant on? Because I'll do it for you. Cross my heart. So I'll see y'all next time. Pfft.